Hi guys, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you guys how to repurpose a shirt or a sweater that may have gotten ruined by something. Me and my husband had went to dinner for a crab boil and I got some of the butter on my shirt and just could not get it out. Now I have washed this several times so I know for sure like there's not any oils remaining in here that's going to mess up the back side. So you want to make sure if it's something that has to do with like oil you want to make sure that's washed very well and whatever's in the shirt's not going to get back up on the iron on. This is one of my favorite sweaters by Comfort Colors. I absolutely love it. It's just so comfortable but this color is kind of like the razor back you know that maroonish reddish color so what I've decided to do is I'm going to take some of Cricut's patterned iron-on so I'm going to take this one right here from Cricut so this is their pattern strong bond iron-on and this one is nature's walk sampler this is by Natalie I like this one because it's the lightest color and it won't just blend down into the shirt so we have that one this really pretty like stone washed purple and then this one right here is really cute too, but I think this one just blends in way too much. So I think this latter color will be perfect. These are 12 by 17. So this one comes with three sheets, 12 by 17. Once again, there is this one, the purple, and this one right here, really pretty. I'm gonna utilize this one right here. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and just have this preloaded on my mat, ready to go. I could cut it down to the size that I want to, um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and load the whole thing on here. So I've got my 12 by 12 mat here. I'm gonna use the blue one. So when you're using iron-on, you want to put this on here upside down, right? So you wanna have it patterned down. All right, so you slowly just wanna get that on there and smooth that out. All right, so that's ready to go. So like I said, it's upside down. You can see the pattern is facing down. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this out of the way. Next step, I'm gonna go ahead and measure my area. So the ruler that I've been using recently is the Cricut ruler. As you guys know, there for a long time, I was just using my handy dandy little wooden one here from Walmart for about a quarter. But I've recently upgraded to the Cricut one because it is three inches by 18. And what I love this is I come down three inches, so it's perfect for me. Okay, so it automatically comes down that three inches from the neckline, so I know where that is, and then I can come set it right here, and then I know where I kind of want to go to even that up. So I know this is my area, and so here's my here's my stain. So I know it's gonna it's gonna be in this area. So I'm looking at so I can look on my ruler just like this, right? So I'm looking at I want to at least go. I would say it would cover here so about like this so then I can count and be like one two three four five six seven so seven inches wide and then I can hold my spot here and then figure out I want at least seven inches so I want at least seven by seven so once we're over here at Cricut Design Space we're going to come to images I've already typed in Arkansas and you're gonna see a ton of these come up for access whether you type in Texas let me show you for example Texas So whatever state it may be, you're going to get, you know, your state. And like I said, as an Access member, it's going to be completely free. So you'll get all these different designs, super cute, love it. But we're going to go ahead and go, I'm going to go back to Arkansas. All right. So there's a ton of cute ones. I really love this one right here with the roses. Um, the love the home I love the ones with the duck and the deer down here but I'm afraid that my stain could possibly come through so I want to stick with a solid here and plus I have a really nice pattern so I think it's gonna look great so I'm gonna stick with a pattern I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna hit insert image all right so now that we have it here I'm gonna come up to the width and the height I know for sure I want the width to be seven inches so when I do that, for the height, I'm going to get 6.098, which is almost 6.1. So let's go ahead and come back down to our t-shirt and see where that lands us. So at 7 inches, you can see here, we're barely covering that, which I could actually go about 7.5 inches. 7.5 inches, that puts us at 6.5 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and measure down, like I showed you, 3 inches, right? And then I'm going to come down and see where that puts us. So 6.5 is going to put us, you know, it's kind of hard to see here, but it's going to put us somewhere right about here. 
So I think that's going to be good enough. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that as is. So let's go ahead and come back to Cricut Design Space. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and go to Make It. I'm happy with it. It doesn't matter the color. I don't need to change that because it's a pattern. I don't need to change the color. I need to mirror it. It is an iron-on. I've got that ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and hit Continue. I'm going to select my device, which is the Maker. Now that we're here, I'm going to go ahead and hit Browse All Material. I'm going to type in Iron, Search, and I'm going to choose Patterned Iron-on. Done. All right, so here we go. We're ready to go. So now I'm going to go ahead and load our mat. Now that we're ready, I'm going to go ahead and load our mat. And I'm going to hit go. All right, I'm going to unload it. I'm going to go ahead and weed away the excess. I just have very little, so I really just need to get that little bit away from the outside layer there. All right, so you see how easy that was. And now you can see how cute my state is, right? And that's going to go on the shirt just like so. So what we're going to do now is go to the Cricut Easy Press Interactive Quick Reference Guide over there on Cricut.com. I'll have the link down below. So you're just going to scroll up. We're going to choose the material. So we're going to click on that. So we're going to go ahead and choose Pattern Iron On. Hit Done. And then we're going to choose the material, which is cotton. 100% cotton, just like so. And hit Done. We're going to use the Easy Press Mat. We've um, chose Pattern Iron On 100% Cotton, the Cricut Easy Press Mat. It's given us 340 preheat for 5 seconds, and then we're going to apply firm pressure for 50 seconds. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit Power On. Hit the temp. We're going to change that to 340. All right, we got it on 340 for 50 seconds. We're going to hit Timer and we're going to come down in my case the last time i used it i'd higher you may have to go up or down 50 seconds all right and now it's ready to go so while that's heating up we're going to go over this one more time it's telling us to preheat our shirt for five seconds apply firm pressure for 50 seconds flip the material and press for another 15 seconds and then we're going to peel off cold so a lot of people have that question if you come to their page here it's going to tell you not only the heat settings but whether to peel it off hot or cold okay so we're going to peel it off cold and then it says allow 24 hours after application before washing i highly recommend that as well all right so let's go ahead and prepare our shirt get it where it needs to be I'm going to go ahead and stick this on here. We're going to preheat this area for five seconds. All right, we're going to set that out of the way. Now you can see that the color of my shirt changed. That is no problem at all. That is just the moisture coming up out of the shirt. And that's why you want to preheat. So that way that moisture don't get trapped and um, just make this eventually want to come off. Okay. So once again, show you how this ruler works. So you're going to come down three, right? And you could already just lay down your ruler if you wanted to. So this is another thing instead of just doing this and this. So you could take your ruler, come down three inches from the top here, and you can even that up. So that way you want to make sure the sides are even on your shirt. Then you want to take your design, and we're going to go from the bottom here. What we're going to do from the bottom of the ruler to the top of the image, not the plastic, but the image, I'm going to line that up against the ruler. Then I want to figure out from right to left to make sure those are even, so I'll, I'll count them. So one, two, three, four, five inches. One, two, three, four, five inches. So right now, I'm right on the money. I have it exactly where I need it. I'll move my ruler out of the way. And now we're going to press 50 seconds, firm pressure. So I'm going to hit go. All right, our instructions now say we need to flip it for 15 seconds. This is a cold pill, so we're gonna leave that alone. 
We're gonna flip the shirt over and go another 15 seconds. So I'm gonna hit go. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna flip it back over. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna let that cool down and we'll peel it off. So now that it's cooled down enough, we're gonna go ahead and peel this off. And I like to keep mine flat like this at an angle and just peel. All right, there you have it. So now we have saved a shirt that would have just basically went into the trash um, or just became a scrap shirt and now I could proudly wear it. All right, so as you can see, the stain is gone. Now we've got a super cute image of our state. Now I could even add Arkansas at the bottom if I wanted to, just to kind of make it even cuter. I'm super excited about it. So that is an easy way to save a shirt after it's been ruined, whether it is a mud stain, an oil stain, um, you know, paint stain or anything like that. Think about adding stuff to it. So for example, I have a little bit of paint down here. I can always add a little something down here, some little flowers here and there to kind of hide that if I wanted to but I'm fine with it and I just love the way that that came out so I hope you guys enjoyed this I hope you found it helpful if you did please hit the like button down below and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one